I want to take a minute today and talk about using the right saddle for the right job. Uh, there are a lot of different types of Western saddles uh, and a lot of them sit you a lot different. Uh, this is actually a ranch cutter, a ranch cutting saddle. It has a pretty deep seat unless you get your feet forward, unless you get your shoulders back and get your legs forward a little bit. This is the saddle that I use for, to show working cow horse. Uh, it sits me really good for the fence turns, the cow horse turns. And if you try to show, say, cow horse where you're going to be doing those turns and a saddle that sets you forward, like, say, a roping saddle or a barrel racing saddle, you're going to have a hard time keeping yourself back because those saddles lift your, get your shoulders forward and get your legs back just a little bit, like for roping so you can stand up and rope, and for barrels to go forward to run in barrels. You don't want your shoulders as far back uh, for barrels as what you do cow horse. Now I'm going to take this saddle off and I'll set another saddle up there so you can see that one. Okay, so this saddle is a straight reining saddle. It still has a big pocket to help you get your shoulder, your seat back, your shoulders back. You can still get your legs forward. But see how everything up here in front is a lower profile. The um, swell is lower, the horn is lower, and that allows you to move your hand and be a little bit more subtle here, where with the cutting saddle, you had the taller horn and you had that horn you had to work around, so you would be doing more with your hand with that saddle than this saddle. This is a straight reining saddle. Seats you similar, but it actually allows you to be a little bit quieter with your hands. Now I'm gonna show you another saddle. So this saddle is a ranch roping saddle. If you, you see it don't have as deep a seat here, it has this Panel in the back that will help you get forward but it doesn't push you forward and the swell in the horn is a little bit bigger. You still have a lot of play in the stirrups so this is not a saddle you would want to team rope with because of the stirrups and a team roping saddle you'd want it to get you a little bit more forward. A ranch roping saddle is more geared for you to sit sitting down or to rope sitting down like what you would do in uh, like a, a working ranch class where you work your cow and then you rope and you, and you st steer stop your cow. That's more what this one is designed to do. It's more designed to let you do your fence work, your fence turns, and then rope and steer stop. So that's what this saddle is set up for. You know, a team roping saddle, you would want the stirrups to be back just a little bit more and you would want the cannel to lift you up just a little bit more because you're, you're going to team rope forward. So it's really important that you have the right saddle to put you in the right position for the job that you're doing. Uh, a lot of people when they go buy a saddle they end up buying the wrong kind of saddle. A lot of the lower level general saddles are really not appropriate for putting you in the position that you're going to want for most any kind of competition. They're set up for trail ride, they're set up for comfort, and they're not really set up to go do a job, to go do an event. So think about your saddle. If you're having trouble with your seat and try, trouble getting your body where it needs to be, like for ranch riding, if you're having trouble getting up for your extended gates, or maybe if you're having trouble getting back for your downward transitions, it might be your saddle. You might have the wrong saddle for the job. So not just fit, the saddle has to fit. The curve of the saddle has to match the, the horse's back. Uh, no dry spots ideally. I've talked about saddle fit in another video. So not only does the saddle need to fit, but it needs to be the right saddle for the job that you're doing with your horse. So 
look at your saddle. First off, see if it fits. And then second, is that the right saddle for the job that you're doing? If you have any questions, put them in the comments and we'll, we'll talk about it and see what we can come up with. Until next time, thank you for watching.